Hi, I'm uh, Grugi, game designer on E4, and I'm going to be talking about our new religious changes that is coming with Emperor in Austria. With uh, Catholicism, so we wanted to give it like the uh, same treatment as Protestantism and other religions so they feel competitive. And what we did was, uh, one, empower the Pope more. The Pope can assign, uh, reward cardinals to countries. And uh, to himself, of course, which is kind of corrupt. But like, we have whoever's the Pope currently, the Curia controller, they can decide that Pope's golden bull, which is like a dogma to have for uh, the peri the life of that pope. So whenever a new pope is elected, can choose a new dogma that all of Catholicism must follow. Catholicism now collects tithe from uh, all who follows the religion. It's a, a, a tenth of the income uh, that the clergy controls in each uh, country. And that money can then be used for certain actions by the Curia controller. When the Reformation happens, the Pope will have the option to start the Council of Trent. And within there, like countries can put their back behind either having a harsh stance towards the Protestants or a more conciliatory trying to bring them back to the flock. Depending on that, uh, these reformations will cost differently from the tithe, but then like, they will change the faith of Catholicism, give you some permanent changes to the religion. And when the religious war happened, then the Council of Trent is over, because like, then Protestantism and uh, Catholics are no longer on speaking terms. So the Hussites are followers of Jan Hus. You could call him an early Martin Luther, and like he had problems with the church. And uh, there were a big uh, Hussite war in Bohemia where the emperor and like the pope were fighting against the Hussites. This is like, they were present at the start of the game, but the, it's this little sect and we've, uh, I've always found them as a very, very cool religion and very interesting history. So we wanted to feature them. So now they are there, they're sort of like a proto-Protestants. We're giving Bohemia a lot of content and flavor around them. You can like bring them into like being the main religion of Bohemia. You can spread them uh, or you can just, you know, try and exterminate them. Defender of the Faith has always been sort of like a mechanic where even if you are the only one of your religion, let's say you're the only Protestant, you would get equal benefits as if you were Defender of Catholicism, which has a lot more people in it. So we're trying to reward the player for like taking care of the religion, actually defending it and actually like making sure there's actually a lot of followers behind whatever religion you're defending. So theocracies have always been like a, a little bit of a forgotten government type in our game. So now we've just like fleshed them out with so much new content and giving them like a new breath of life and very unique play style and so on and making them actually interesting to stay and play as. Uh, th thank you for watching. In the next Dev Diary, we will be talking about all of the late game changes we're doing.